The supreme vacuum is dead. So now you have to fight for power. Hello guys, here it's Emmanuel from Dice again. Today we talk about Power Vacuum, a game published by Kinbin Studio, designed by Caleb Wenzel Fisher, and illustrated by Malachi or Malachi Ray Rampen. I hope I didn't destroy totally your names. I want to thank uh, Kinbin Studio for providing a copy of this game, so this video will be sponsored by them. This is an overview video where I talk about the game. Don't explain the rules in detail, but I play a round or two. In this case, I think I'm going to play only one round for you to feel the flow of the game and see if it's a game for you or not. In terms of mechanics, this is a trick-taking game. It follows more or less the same rules of a normal trick-taking game. Each player are going to play a card that has a suit. You need to follow that suit. If you don't have that suit, you need to trump with another card, which is the trump. And in this one, there's a little twist where you can play a card that they call a spy, which is a brown card that can trump a trump. So more on that later when I show you about the game. Besides that, you are going to fight for power. So the game finishes when, you, uh, when a player achieves 40 points, but each 10 points that you get, you are going to be able to build a piece of statue. So you, you make 10 points, you build a piece, and so on. So if you make 20 points in the first uh, round, when the eight cards are finished, you can build two pieces of stages. And when you get four, you won the game. That's how the game works. And without further ado, let's just jump right in. But before that, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know if you played Power Vacuum on, uh, at Essen or if you got it from Kickstarter. As you can see, we have here a setup for three players. We are going to only play one round because each player has eight cards, so this can uh, could make the video longer. We have here the eight cards where if you see from a diff from a, a normal trick-taking game, you see the suits behind. So here you see the numbers and here you see the suits. So every player will be able to know what is the suits that you have in your card, in your in your hand. But some cards like this one or this one, they are spies so you actually can trump a card that the, uh, another you can trump another trump with these cards this will be more um, easy to understand what i'm playing what is also important is these cards which are the agendas i can show this one because you are all going to see this is an agenda card so when you are going to be uh, playing the game the, you will be able to Either imagine that you won the trick, you can you can score the points, or you can capture another card. I'll explain that in a bit. But first, when you win the trick, you have those two choices. But the, the player or players that played the lowest card, they will be able to manipulate here the power. So they can move. That's why you have this uh, thing here. They will be able to move. Uh, this 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 power uh, all over the place and by moving or before moving they will have to transfer power into the different colors that it's connected and then they move and they might be doing that according to their agenda they might want that green which is a telephone at the end of the of the round when you finish playing your eight cards they might want that the, the green has the most power and white the least so this can be interesting because other players might have 50% of, the agenda, of their agenda similar to yours. And so this will be kind of a, 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 a situation where you might be playing with another player to have the most power in a certain color, but then the lowest part is also maybe uh, against you. So that can lead to some interesting uh, decisions. What else can I explain here? Uh, yeah, each player starts with eight cards. It's always a hand of eight. And when you win a trick, you can score the points. So we play three cards. You are the one that played the highest number. You score the trick. Or from those cards that were played, you can select one of them and discard the rest and keep that one for the next, uh, for the next round for your hand which 
yeah, if you have like a nice card, the Trump, uh, for the next round, you you can keep that one for the next for the next round and win maybe more tricks afterward. I think those are the rules of the game, and uh, I think we can jump immediately to playing. Uh, this is the setup of the game, by the way. So we need to put this cube in each one of our cards uh, here on the position 14-0, and. If you, each player, when they are playing, they can decide that in the beginning of the, of the moment that they are going to play the cards, they can decide to reveal their agenda. So if a player reveals their agenda when they have still eight cards in their hand, they will place this cube here. This will give them uh, eight points if they, 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 they are able to succeed in half of their agenda. If they are able to succeed in the highest and lowest a color in their agenda, they succeed this times two. So instead of eight, they can succeed 16, which is a lot, and immediately build one piece of statue. But if you never reveal your agenda, and at the end of, the, of all the eight cards being played, you won uh, your agenda here without revealing it, you get 14 points. If you didn't score any of the parts, you won zero. And the 14 is actually, you need to score the complete card. It's not 50-50. It needs to be complete and you win 14 points. So that is uh, the rules of the game. Without further ado, let's just start playing. And the first play is going to be red. We have white and we have yellow. First, we need to uh, show an agenda card here to decide where these connectors go first. So we have going, we are going to go for brown and yellow, and that's it. And this card stays on the discard pile. All right, so of course, simulating a trick-taking game is not always uh, as interesting as seeing three players, four players, five players, uh, trying the, um, playing the game. By the way, this is a, a one to five players. There's also solo mode on this one. Um, and I, uh, from the rules, it seems interesting. Didn't play it though. Uh, solo trick-taking game is not really my thing, but it is, uh, it is possible. And it's also uh, between 20 to 45 minutes. So it's quite a, a game, that, a relatively fast uh, game. Um, we are going to start by playing, I'm just checking here, maybe I'll push this down, I hope you guys can still see, and I'll be playing the cards, I'll be playing the cards here. So each one of them have agendas, of course I will be seeing their agendas, I'll be seeing their cards, so bear that in mind that maybe the game is not going to be as interesting as if it was different players playing. So the first one is going to be this one. I see my cards here, and of course the others will also be showing their suits, and so I can see their colors. I see that this one doesn't have green, see this one has a lot of green, so if I play two, I might be able to succeed there in uh, changing the power, but I will certainly not win the, game, the, the trick. Uh, but then my other cards are not really high, I have a 6 and a 5 uh, on white, and actually the spies, they are really only interesting for me to trump a trump. I cannot trump a normal suit with, uh, with a spy. Um, well, I'm going to do that, I'm going to play the lowest card, which is 2, and here I am going to follow that suit, but I can see that he has red and no green, so I'm not going to put a lot on, on it. And this one, of course, is going to trump. And I'm going to use my lowest trump to win the trick. So, yellow won the trick. And uh, yellow is going to choose... I want to keep the points, so it will keep the points. We'll keep them here like this. Uh, but, and actually, yeah, this, this comes already as one point, and um, red, the red uh, was the lowest card uh, to be played, 
even though he didn't win the trick, and he can manipulate here. So let's see the agenda. It's not revealed yet. It didn't reveal. I'm just going to see as a red player. My agenda is or green as the most power or white as the most power. At this moment, they all have the same amount. And right now I cannot transfer or to green or to white. I'm going for green on top and I'm going first. I need to transfer. So this one I'll transfer here and I'll move it here. There we go. All right. Now this one won the, won the trick. It will play first. And now I have all of this. I like to organize, organize this by color. All right. So, I am going to do the same thing, but uh, let's turn this around. I do see that this one has white, this one also has white. They will probably be able to, to trump me. But first, I decide that I'm going to reveal my agenda. At this moment, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I put this on the seven, and I'm going to reveal the agenda. Everybody sees it. And at this moment, it's actually good. Three is actually the one that has uh, three. Yellow is actually the one that has the most power. So that is working good for me. Now the others know my agenda. They might want to uh, make my life difficult, but we'll see. So at this moment, I might want to put more power on uh, on my side. So I'm going to play, to play three, play three, and this one. Is going to match probably, but he sees that this one also has white. But are those white spies or normal cards? That's the question. Well, he doesn't want to risk, he's going to play five. And this one is going to be a smart ass because he's going to play two. Because he doesn't care about winning points. So actually, this one wins the trick. So red wins the trick. And white is the lowest card to be played. So we will decide to affect here the power. Let's check ourselves the agenda. We didn't reveal to the other players yet. He has brown and red. At this moment, red has the most power, so I'm going to choose to be play to, for red to have the most power. Uh, as you can see, I still didn't reveal my agenda, so uh, red needs to have the most power and brown the least. Um, we know that this one has yellow, so we can be annoying to them and transfer here the power and move this here. There we go. Um, I am the, no, I'm not the one. This is the one to play. Let me check the agenda. More power there, less power there. Okay, this one is going to reveal their agenda. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we place this on six. And what am I going to play? I see that this one has red, this one has a yellow. Is it going to be a high yellow or not. I have all these cards. They don't know that I have spies. So, you know what, I'm go going to actually... I am going to actually try to win this one by playing six. Let's see what happens. This one does have a four and it's to assist. And this one has a nine. Boom! So nine wins the trick. And four was from white. So white will be able to manipulate. It, uh, yellow player doesn't want to keep any of these cards. So he will just have another point. And white can manipulate. Let me check my agenda. <laughs> uh, yes. I am going to push for red. So... Let's move this to red to have the most power. And now I want to move this to where? <laughs> I want to, to keep red like this 
So maybe I'll move it like that because I know that this one <laughs> is going to, he wants to have the yellow with the most power, but like this, it gets complicated. All right, so this one won the trick. Let's see what we play. I'm going to play yellow. I don't want to trump to start with a the trump. They have yellow here. This one doesn't have yellow, so he will trump me. Maybe it was not that smart. Let's see here. I'm going to play the lowest card because I think that this will be trumped anyway. So lowest card for, let's put it like this, lowest card for red and white is going to play probably a trump. Exactly. Let's go with the lowest trump, which is very interesting because now I won the trick because I played the trump, okay? And I'm also with uh, red, we are both lower in the um, in the number of the cards, so we will be able both to manipulate the power, starting by me and then uh, red. So this one doesn't win anything. I win the trick, so my trick can come like here, and I'm going to move my agenda is red and brown, brown with the least power. So this one is going to move here. And I know that this one wants to go there and there, but I'm not going to be that nice. So I'm going to do like this because otherwise they might mess up my plan. All right, so now red can also manipulate the power. He wants the green to have the most agenda, but he also wants the white to have the least. So he'll transfer it here and put it here. Okay, or maybe no, I don't want to put it here. I'll put it here, here. All right, so now I start. I have how many cards? One, two, three, four. So I cannot place this on any of these. So now it's everything or nothing. I'll start, I'm going to play, this one doesn't have, this one has green, this will trump me, so I'll play this, and this one is going to play, maybe, also a 6, and this one, Ah, this is interesting. Look, you see, I could maybe follow suit, but it's a spy. So a spy, when you play a spy, it trumps a trump. But, so, I win. Uh, red wins over this one. So, red wins the trick and is also the lowest number. So, I, I win the trick and I manipulate the power. Do I want to win the trick, the trick or keep this trump? Because 6 is quite a good value. No, I want to win the trick. So I'll win the trick. Place it here. And now I am going to manipulate the power. Uh, I want green to have most and white to have the least which is possible. I'll transfer this like this and this here. All right, let's go. We play here, we are going to play a five. I don't have yellow, so I'll, he has a lot of trumps. Do I want to win the trick here? Yes, I want to win the trick. But I uh, cannot transfer there. So yes, I want to win the trick. I'm going to take this one. Hopefully that one doesn't have a spy. <laughs> Trump. Oh no, he has a spy. <laughs> he wants. Okay, so uh, this one actually wants, wins the trick. And he decides that he's not going to win the trick. But instead keep this card for the next uh, hand. So these ones are discarded, we'll place them here 
and this card is for the next turn for his initial hand. Okay, he trumped, but uh, who played the yellow? So I played none. Yellow was played by red. Red will be able to manipulate the power, which is very annoying against uh, red because he didn't want this, but he will have to. So he'll transfer this and he will uh, move this here. That's very annoying for, for red. All right, so uh, this one, one is going to play. Let's play this one like this. Uh, this one is going to play. Oh no, it's another spy. And this one is going to play. He needs to follow suit, so he's going to play this one. So, this one wins the trick, and he also uh, is the lowest card. But, this card is really good, so he's going to keep it and not win the trick. And we keep it here for the next hand. And finally, we play the last card, the last card, and the last card. And this one trumps over this one, so he wins the trick again. Uh, is also the lowest card, so this one I'm going to also keep this card because this card is good trump and I can manipulate power. So I'm going to manipulate like this. There we go. So now all of the players reveal the agendas and we are going to count the... Uh, what is this? Ah, it's my trick. We are going to count the, the power and who has the most power. So we have these tokens here that we take and this one has three, three, three. So these are the colors with the most power and this one is the lowest. So now, ah, sorry, and no, this one is the lowest. This one is nothing. Brown is the lowest because there is no, thing, no power there. So red has the most power, yes. It has three. Lowest power? No. So it makes six points, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It can go take a piece. We'll start by the base. And it likes this one. So we'll keep we'll keep this one. Then we have mine, uh, the white one. Red has the most power. Yes, it does. And does Brown has least power. Yes, it does. So he scores 14. 14 points because he was able to do both, both parts of the card. So 14 points plus 1, 15, plus 1, 16. We were not able to get to 20 in the first round. Too bad, too bad, too bad. We'll place a base here. And finally, we have yellow. Yellow has the most power. Yes, it does. As the lowest, no. So yellow will score 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Also yellow was not able to get to 20 points in the first round. Let's keep this pace. And then we are going to uh, gather everything, discard the cards and build new hands. And that's the game. Once the players are able to get to 40 points, uh, one of the players wins. Uh, if there is a tie, you'll have to check the rules on <laughs> the rule book because I don't remember. But that's basically the game. And I hope that this helped you to understand a bit more of the flow of the game, to see if it's a game for you or not. I always like, I always enjoy to see these twists that we come up with trick taking games. That for me, it's like, I think I've seen a, I've seen a lot of things. And one that is a, a new. Uh, new twist like this one, this little power management here in the middle, it's always fun. Uh, and that's what caught my eye in the Kickstarter campaign about this one. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a subscribe, leave a comment, a like, let me know if you play this game. If there is some issue with the rules, also please let me know. And there's my Instagram, there's my TikTok, so please follow me there so that the, yeah, the algorithm starts to, to show me to the world so that I can teach you more games, guys. So thank you so much and see you in the next one.